Hey, Steve Ostrowski with Trimble and the Building Point teams. Going to show you how you can easily upload scan and model data to our Cloud Engine sharing platform through our Azure partnership. Um, here you can see there's actually 2D, uh, or sorry, 3D uh, model data as well as scan data. Um, <clears throat> I can use section cuts to kind of see through the top of this and do basic overall measurements. I can also come into um, the station views as well, which a lot of people like to view because it's uh, a little more what we're used to when we're looking at a project. So here we actually have the 2D and 3D data um, kind of rendered on top of each other. I can come in and do the clearance measurements um, as well as um, come in and create markers. So if I need more data, I can create a tag and say need more scan data. And why I would do this scan data is because um, after I create these markers and I'm done using it, I can actually um, use the Autodesk plugin here and copy the RCP, which has been loaded up online here and loaded directly into my Navisworks or Revit or AutoCAD plugin. So here I'm gonna come into Cloud Engine um, and actually load this data in here. So I'll go from the web browser and bring in just 20 million points. I could bring in the maximum as well too and import it. So I can bring in just 20 million points, which will be a little bit faster of a download, and on my connection I will, or I can load in um, the maximum of the points that were up on that Azure server. Obviously, anything that is on the Azure server is gonna be a little bit lighter uh, um, data, but you can optimize it and um, get uh, quite a bit of density where, you're, where it's needed. Um, I can then pop in here and start to look at that scan to, to model comparison for Navisworks or run a clash detection, so if I were using uh, Revit or AutoCAD, I could also um, start to designing based on that scan data. And if you need it, I could always request back in uh, Cloud Engine Online uh, for whoever owns that data to send more. And then obviously if it's local to my site, even better.